Welcome back. I hope you've all had a really good week. So uh, we're going to do the thoughts and feelings of your person today. Those of you that have had private readings with me, you know that's how me and my guys always start a reading really. If you want to find out about your person, we go into their thoughts and feelings about you. We link your energy into theirs and we go into their thoughts and feelings about you because it gives us an indicator where the energy is at, where it's heading, what's currently going on. So we're going to open it up to the public today and do thoughts and feelings about all of you lot uh, working on the strongest mutual energy. First thing I need to tell you, however, is I am away at the Tarot Conference in London um, in October and it's actually like in, in nearly th like two and a half week, three week. I am going from, I've written it down so I can tell you, I'm going from the 9th and I'm going to be starting work again on the 16th so you're going to have a whole week without me. Um, I'm fully booked up now till when we go. So the turnaround time at the moment is on 21 to 24 days, it's gone up. Um, it'll get back down to 16 to 20 days probably when I get back, if I only work super, super hard. Uh, but that's what's going to happen. So the turnaround now, if you're booking now, just to let you know, it's gone up by a couple of days because I'm going to the conference. Um, yeah, so going away on the 9th, back on the 16th. And if you're booking single questions as well, just be conscious of that, that if you're going to book a single question over that time period, you're not going to get the answers till I get back. Okay, because I can't do tarot all day at the conference and then do more tarot and then more tarot and more tarot. So we're going to have a bit of a, I've got to go do the conference um, and then, you know, spend the nights with my friends and then we'll take it from there. Okay, so yeah, just be wary of it, be conscious of it. So what we're going to do today is their thoughts and feelings. This is going to be deck number one. This is going to be deck number two. So think about you. Think about the person you want to know about or if you want to know about a couple of people. Put one energy in one deck and one energy in the other deck. Use your energy to push it where you want. So deck number one, deck number two. Uh, thoughts and feelings, heart, energy. Go from your heart. One, two. Okay, let's go. Okay, can you tell me please what are the thoughts and feelings? of their people so it's getting to you lots of energy so as always you know it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all so if anything doesn't resonate it's either that you're not part of that strongest mutual energy or that um you come up at a later date thoughts and feelings okay think about your person can we get into their people collective energy link those energies together thank you And let's just do all probabilities, possibilities, choices, chances, and changes for other people as well. Okay. One more. Go ahead, said one more. Let's go. I've got a uh, ground control to major dom. I'm not entirely sure why we've got that, but I'm going to throw it out here. Maybe it makes sense to one of you. Maybe it's a song that you guys share together. This is really, really, really clear. Ground control to major dom. Okay, can you tell me what are their people thinking about those watching? What's the collective energy on the thoughts, please? Because they're clear jumpers. Thank you. What are their thoughts about the people watching? Wow, oh, that was good, eh? Two, three, they all jumped separately, so that kind of answered that question for us. We're not having that one though. Once it'll come out again, let's get one more for their thoughts. And let's go with the feelings. I'm sure some fluff just dropped off me then. But what are their feelings about the people watching? Can we get their feelings, please? Can I jump us again, please? What are their feelings? One, two. What are their feelings? Three. Yeah, that did. That was the one that jumped on the floor. Four. Thoughts and feelings. Five. Okay. Are you ready? So, we're going to kind of, we'll work with, we'll go with thoughts first. So, in your person's thoughts about you, you are in their mind more than what they are giving you credit for. So, if you are thinking, they're not really thinking about me, they're not really doing anything about me, they're just sitting there 
wasting time and um, spirit is saying that they you are actually in their mind more than what you are giving yourself credit for they are feeling a little bit insecure with the fit situation they're feeling a little bit haunted by the situation some of that will be variant on their actions and your reactions and your actions and their reactions and um, some of that is going to be variant upon that energy but there's this security energy which is coming forward that they, they're feeling quite unstable with their thoughts towards you feeling a little bit panicky also a very very strong sexual energy between the two of you. Now your person is standing very strongly in their power at this moment in time and um, trying to keep balanced on it all but actually if they if you go behind the mask that they're wearing if you go past the facade facade that's what my guide said uh, I don't know if you ever noticed that sometimes when my guy's dead close my, my voice changes um, the facade um, so if you go past the facade of what's happening um, what mask they are wearing and this need to balance they're being haunted by what's kind of happened what the situation that's happened and um, you're in their mind a lot they almost uh, just had a clairvoyant image of someone blowing a trumpet um, and what they're saying by that what spirit is saying is that you know they've kind of made their choices and the decisions on it they blew the trumpet everything kind of came to a standstill or whatever your individual circumstances are and now they're thinking shit I shouldn't have blown that trumpet I blame your own trumpet thought this was the right choice whatever decisions I've made I felt that that was the right choice at the time but now I'm feeling quite stuck and being haunted by the situation but I'm still going to stand in my power and be strong they're thinking that there is a possibility that the two of you can come together and um, for a more passionate sexual energy the sexual energy and chemistry between the two of you is very very strong and um, they've kind of cut off the nose to spite the face of the situation as well and they are fully aware of that they're fully conscious that that is the choices that they have made um, they want to be in a more stable position, they want to be in a more secure position and they want to be more in control of their emotions but they're not because this haunting energy is coming forward. So their thoughts towards you is that you think they're thinking about you a lot, they're haunted by the situation, um, they can see that you two could have a, a, begin, a new beginning together, there's a very strong sexual energy between the two of you so they're having a few thoughts on that, um, naughty naughty, having a few thoughts on that cut off the nose despite their face they are aware of that they are aware that their actions have caused the kind of reactions that have happened between the two of you and that all of this has spirit said all of this has amalgamated into this big pile of ickiness basically so they have the majority of you your person has floated away from their problems they thought no you know what i'm going to go and hide away and pretend that none of this ever happened and um, now if you are not in contact does not mean that again it does not mean that they aren't thinking about you they are just hiding away from their problems they've got on their boat and managed to oar away some of them have gone on holiday as well again it's kind of for that peace of mind that I need to break from it all I can't cope uh, everything's gone really really wrong they're trying to hold some level of faith as well so even if they're not spiritual people they've got this whole kind of basic understanding that you are a lot of you are and they've got this knowledge of that you know and they think well maybe there is something more out there maybe if it's destined it is destined so they've got that destiny kind of sense going on in their thoughts as well if it's going to be it will be um whenever it is it will happen but for now i'm just going to carry on cutting off my nose and spiting my face and pretending that there isn't a problem here at all and then when i'm ready i'm going to come forward with some level of communication we've been in stormy waters um you know what's happened in here with the two of you is that you know your person you, you kind of your water is emotions and it's like you lot have took your boat out to the sea and then you you're normally safe in the harbour with regard to your emotions your emotions are normally quite level-headed your boat's in the harbour you're feeling quite safe and what's happened with your person is you got caught up in the stormy tides got caught up in the weather and now your boat is in the middle of the sea and you've been swamped with emotions swamped with what's going on swamped with how you're meant to be handling it and again remembering water as emotions you felt like loads of tidal waves are kind of coming over you you're not quite sure how to handle the situation and you don't quite know how to get back to the harbour um but your person is equally kind of feeling that energy as well now it's took them a while longer to feel that so you guys kind of felt that energy straight away that you were in the sea and you were like shit what am I doing and um, now from what's happened with that you're starting to make your way back to the harbour and your person is starting to get stuck in the sea and um, getting very very swamped over by their, um, their emotions realising that they've made a serious effort The other side of it is that your person does love you. There is some escapism behaviour going on here as well. So there's probably alcohol, drinking, drugs, game stations, partying, 
the tending in there is not a problem, going on holiday, escapism behaviour is coming into this as well. Um, there's a few things going on behind the scenes that you aren't fully aware of as well. So if you aren't aware that there's this escapism behaviour, please be conscious that something is going on that you aren't fully aware of. So they are just trying to escape the situation in their own mind, going off on whatever they need to do, um, trying to pretend that there isn't a problem. Um, Still trying to keep the distance from you a little bit. If you look at these two little bits of green energy kind of coming here, they're not meeting in the middle. Green is always heart-centered emotions. So they are still thinking of you. They are still wondering what you're up to. And with the Knight of Cups as well, it is a love-based card. It's someone making movement towards you with heart-centered energy. But at the moment, this escapism behavior is taking over. And then with the world, again, it's kind of stepping into this energy of, well, if it's gonna be, it's gonna be. We are stuck in some kind of cycle. So if you guys have been in and out of contact and things have been happening, for a while and you're feeling like oh this karmic energy isn't going to break or even if you're twin flames and you're stuck cycling 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 and um, they are aware of that and they know that there will be a time when you guys reconnect and um, so rather than trying to stress yourselves out about when it's going to be what's going to happen just be conscious that you know the universe is working towards you especially if it's a more divine connection the two of the universe is working towards the two of you merging your energies back together so this is where their thoughts are at when there's a will, there's a way. I've cut off my nose to spite my face. I'm um, a bit of an idiot. I could see that we've got a stable future. I really fancy the pants off them. Well, hey, hey, I'm feeling a little bit sexy towards them. Um, I've been a bit of an idiot. I still love them. I'm going to run away from my problems, escape it all, do a bit of escaping is in behaviour. But I trust that if it's going to happen, it's going to happen at a later date. Or when I'm ready. That's their thoughts. Okay, feelings, feelings, feelings. So what do we have over here? First of all, let's start off with this one. We have the Two of Cups, okay? Your person loves you. Um, and with the fact that this card has got dogs on it, let's talk about humans and dogs. Unconditional love, you know? Your dog never judges you. Your dog, uh, you can come home and they're still really, really happy to see you, even if you've had the worst day, even if you've been a super bitch. You go home, your dog still loves you, you know? unconditional love so your person at the moment is having this very very strong pull towards you their feelings are getting very very um love based you know they're becoming more aware of the heart based energy towards you and realizing that there is an element of unconditional love here that no matter what happens between the two of you they're still going to have these feelings towards you um no matter what the circumstances are so this is good this is really good so realizing that there is a truth behind the situation um they're seeing that you are in a more powerful situation as well, that you are feeling a bit stronger. Your person is also a box person, and I know I spoke about this a couple of times before, um, but your person, as your collective energy, your person is a box person. So what they do is they have separate boxes for every element of the life. So they have a box for you, a box for kids, a box for family, a box for work, a box for drumming. They have all these kind of different boxes and these boxes never meet, okay? So they can only focus on one box at a time. Um, so if you're if they're in the family box, especially if you're third party, say they're in the family box and you're in a different box over here, they can't mix the two energies together. It's just not the way they are programmed. It's just not who they are as people. Um, so be aware of that as well. If you're trying to get them to communicate with you and they are in a box, in a certain different box, just give them a bit of time, let them come out of the box and swap boxes and then you guys will be able to talk. And the same again if they're really busy at work, if they're in work mode and you're like, I can't communicate with you, let them just come to you in their own time. They will come out of the box and, and shift it in your favour. Again, there is stuff going on that you aren't fully aware of. Um, there's a very strong sexual energy between the two of you. And if you want to know what I mean by that, I will show you the card. Well, hey, hey. very strong sexual energy between the two of you um, it's important to be listening to your guys you guys got instinct as well um, you know your gut instinct is your intuition especially if you haven't developed any kind of gut instinct feelings you get trust it if it's starting to be your head and your head's starting to play a little bit of havoc on you and you think you're thinking shit I don't feel right something's not right that isn't your gut you know, trust that gut instinct. Remember a time when you really felt that gut instinct and you were spot on. Go back to that point and trust your own intuition on that. Um, your person as well, they've kind of got this gut instinct towards you. The sexual energy is there. Um, 
that you aren't fully aware of how much they think about you in a sexual manner. You aren't aware of that. There is a lot of sexual thoughts going on here. Naughty, naughty, naughty boys and girls. Um, sexual thoughts, secrets, um, you know, but they realise that they can be themselves around you as well. And some of that with the sexual energy is quite important, you know, uh, say if they've been with people before and that sexual energy, they weren't compatible se sexually, um, their person, your person, and someone else they were with, you know, relationships, whatever, they didn't have that sexual compatibility with that person, and they have got it with you. So this is going through their thoughts as well. I don't know if I'm ever gonna have sex like I have, or what I want to have with my person. Sexual energy, very, very strong between the two of you. Uh, kind of keeping balanced on it again, trying to uh, think, no, you know, my emotions, I know I love her, but if it's gonna happen, it's, it will happen. We'll see where it goes, we'll see where it ends up. Some of you, there's movement in August. Some of you, there's movement next year in the more kind of spring, summer period. Again, if you want individual timings, we can look at it on personal readings, but that's your collective energy. I know that's a bit of a wide gap, wide gap, but you always want to know timings and this is what's coming forward here. Keeping the energy balanced, um, not quite making choices yet, but thinking about making choices, but realising, coming to terms with their emotions being very, very strong and the sexual energy coming, coming through as well. And again, we have the King of Wands, sexual, strong, dominant male. Um, remember, never sexually orientated or gender specific, guys. Remember, it always works on energy. Um, but the male of your, your energies, okay? So that strong sexual male energy is coming forward as well. A lot of your people will hide away from these emotions with sexual energy because they're crap at expressing how they feel, they're crap at talking through feelings, they're crap at talking about, um, yeah, how they feel. So that instead they go through a sexual energy. They think if I talk to her or him about the sexual energy that is between us, um, then I haven't really got to talk about how I'm feeling deep down, what my emotions are. I can just hide away from it. And again, that's part of this escapism behavior that's happening in their thoughts. Sometimes they will portray themselves in a more sexual manner than a heart-centered heart -centered energy because they, they are crap at it and it's part of the escapism behavior. Your person is a great escape artist, basically. They run away from their problems. <laughs> and that is their thoughts and feelings. So there is a strong love between the two of you. There is a very strong sexual chemistry between the two of you. Um, trust your own instinct on it. They're working all out in the head. Even if they're floating away from problems at the moment, there is fear-based energy here. But they're trying to... They can see you two have got a future. Um, but they've gone into this. If destiny, you know... I believe in destiny, if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. So it's not all hope is lost, it's pretty good cards. Um, strong thoughts, strong feelings there, especially in the feelings that the Two of Cups, that unconditional love, that no matter what happens between the two of you, they're gonna have these feelings towards you. It's really, really good. Okay, that's deck number one. So if you need me, drop me an email at mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. Website's up and running. Uh, I'll put all the links in the description. I've also opened up a Facebook account after you, uh, you lot was banging on at me for the last year saying, Ali, get off Instagram, put, put Facebook on. So I've done both. We've got, we've got Instagram and Facebook. You can instant message me, um, but I am better on my emails because I'm crap at technology. So if you need me, uh, email is best. I've got one place left for tuition now, one place left for tuition, um, and that's it. That's it. And I'm away. I am away in October at the Tarot Conference. Please do not forget. Because if you're after something like there's an emergency or you're like, shit, Ali, I really, really need you, I, I won't be there. The out of office is going to be on. So just be be conscious. Ah. I will still, I'll pre-record a public and get it out to you that way you can away. Okay, let's do deck two. 1835. Hello, my beauties. If you've just tapped in, tuned in and turned on. So we're going into your person's thoughts and feelings about you today. Uh, obviously, as always, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. So if anything doesn't resonate, it's either because you're not part of the strongest mutual energy or that it's going to come up at a later date. Okay, let's go. Think about your person. Can we get into the collective energy of their person? Uh, if, yeah, so if you have just tapped in, tuned in and turned on, I am away in October. I'm at the Tarot Conference in London. Um, I am going from, I've written it down here, the 9th and I'm back to work on the 16th. So it's a whole week without me. Um, so the turnaround time for public readings, is, uh, private readings, sorry. The turnaround time for private readings has gone up. Uh, by four days okay 
just so that I've got time to make sure I get you all in. All my bookings before then are done. Uh, you're all booked in now. I can't fit anyone else in. Super, super busy girl. Um, but we're on a 21 to 24 day turnaround. And email questions as well with the out of office being on that week. The turnaround for them is going to go from 24 to 48 hours up to... Um, probably about a week so just be aware of it I am in London at the conference I can't do tarot I was saying at the start of the other one I can't do tarot for the whole day and then come back to the room and do tarot still so I am just gonna have to focus on the conference uh, for that week go and enjoy myself um, go meet some really cool artists and uh, you know some amazing people are going and I'm super super excited um, so yeah we're gonna go uh, me and my, my friend who is a psychic medium she's brilliant we're gonna go together uh, we've got a room in London we're gonna go for like a, a bit of time so just be aware of that okay right let's go thoughts feelings energy emotions and thought processes sorry to blag your heads while I'm doing this blag your heads blag your heads best have that one okay can you tell me please what are their people thinking about them one Okay, okay. So again, you know, it works on circumstances, not in, in no, it doesn't work on circumstances. It works on energy rather than circumstances between a lot of you. So if you need circumstances looking at, we can do it on a personal reading. What are their thoughts? I do single questions, which is normally, it's 24 to 48 hours apart from when I'm in London. That's over email. Uh, I do half hour, 50 minutes. I do teaching. I do past life readings. I do spiritual development readings. I do tutoring. There's all sorts I do. So just drop me a message if you need me. Feelings. What are their feelings about their person? One. What are their feelings? Two. And it's true. This thing of your body is true. Uh, Cruel Summer. I don't like Taylor Swift's new album. You know, I'm a massive Taylor. Sorry, Tay. Um, a massive Taylor Swift fan. I'm not a big fan of her album, but you just got Cruel Summer by her. I actually quite like that one. Cruel Summer. Okay, keep that at the back of your mind. So, you haven't had the best summer. I love the line in that it says, "Devils roll the dice, angel roll the eye, angels roll the eyes," and that's the kind of energy you guys are in at the moment. It's like, what direction is this gonna go? And you guys are going, "Oh my god, here we go again." How many times have we got to do these tarot cards? Don't worry, it's just it's just the way we are, isn't it? But that kind of energy is coming forward. That they're, they're not pissed off at you or anything like that. But they do roll their eyes at you and say, "Are we going here again? Really? Are we asking this again?" Keep, you know just be conscious of that and um, that's what guides are there for as far as I'm concerned that's what my guys do they always roll their eyes at me okay thoughts so your person is making is thinking slow steady movement they've been trying to work out what they want they've been trying to work out their head they've been trying to balance it they've been feeling a little bit vulnerable with regard to the situation so if your person has backed away from the situation a little bit it's that level of vulnerability that's kind of coming through they felt quite, uh, yeah, vulnerable. I don't know what other word there is to say other than vulnerable. They felt quite vulnerable with you because their emotions were coming up to the surface and your person's been uh, quite good at hiding away from the emotions. And when these emotions kind of get on top of them and they feel this really, really strong pull towards you, they don't know what to do about it. They're not sure how to handle the situation and that makes them feel vulnerable, especially because there hasn't been many people in their life that have had that state of vulnerability with them. Some of your people have had issues with dads, some of them have had issues with families, um, but that vulnerability, the last time they felt that vulnerable is when things kind of went a little bit wrong, either in childhood, teenage years or something along those lines. So when they become that vulnerable, there is this fear-based energy that rises up between them and this is why your person is making slow, steady moves towards you. So it's probably not as fast as what you want it to be um but you've got to count your lucky stars that there is movement here okay so there is movement i don't know if you want to count your lucky stars but that's what spirit said count your lucky stars that there is movement there is slow steady movement towards you and there's that lack of vulnerability uh, that vulnerability and um, the reason why they are making slow and steady movement and you lot are rolling your eyes at them um is because they don't want to feel vulnerable with the situation they're trying to control it you know and you you guys with the universe you know that you can't control situations they happen to us you know they happen to us well they don't happen to us they happen through us you know so situations that's happened through us 
um, has made your person feel vulnerable. So whatever situations you guys have gone through, your person has felt vulnerable about it and has decided to either back away or just take really slow, steady movement towards you. That's the first side of things. That includes my little third party followers as well. So if your person is with someone else, again, they're trying to work it out in their head what they want to do about the situation. Uh, do they leave? If there's kids involved, there's going to be a big pull about kids. I'll do another third party reading in a couple of weeks, but that's where the energy is with them. They are aware that there is emotions towards you. Watch out for the numerology of 10 and 10, Spirit are saying. I just saw a clock with the digit numbers 10, 10 on it. This is when, when you start seeing 10, 10s everywhere, I tell you, do you that many sit-ups with these decks? If you start seeing 10, 10s everywhere, um, that is going to get, that's the time when your person is going to start making these moves towards you. The 1010 is going to stand for an end of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. And because you guys are kind of stuck in a cyclical energy, this 1010, when you start seeing them coming up, this is when this movement's going to happen. This is when they get, they're going to let their guard down a bit and come towards you in a, a state of strength rather than vulnerability. There is a karmic energy between the two of you. So if you guys, I do past life readings if you need the karmic energy clearing, um, but you can also do it yourself. You can go onto YouTube, type in past life regression, uh, have a go at doing the karmic clearings that go with it. Um, just comes with a little red flag for me and my guides because you know past lives can be quite traumatic we tend to think oh nothing's ever happened in a past life it, we, i don't remember it it's completely cool but when you go back and you go and visit these past lives they can really really stir strong hard feelings for you uh, there's one lady that i read for and, and it's been very very difficult for her what she's had to come to terms with so please just be careful uh Past life readings are great for clearing karma, but you just need to be very, very conscious that they aren't always easy. They're interesting, yes, but they're not easy. So if you want to clear that level of karma and karmic energy, um, you know, you're completely safe to do it. You can do it on your own for YouTube, but again, warning, it can be traumatic, okay? Um, even if you're a more divine relationship, there's still going to be an element of karma. You know, twin flames don't just live one life together. You have multiple, multiple lives with one another. Um, so that karmic energy is there. Um, even with twin flames, you will still have that karmic energy, so it's still worth trying to clear it. So if you need me for past life readings, give me a shout. Um, but you can do it yourself, but again, comes with a warning. And we've got the hier Hierophant, Hierophant, I always call it the Hierophant, Hierophant, that's me, me accent. Um, <laughs> you got the truth of a situation. So your person is having a bit of a, um, vulner they're having a freak out, basically. They've had this bit of a panic thinking, oh God, I feel really vulnerable. I'm going to withdraw. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go blow hot and cold. I'm going to give me a little bit here, take a little bit away. What's actually going on? Um, and that energy is going to come to a close when you start seeing the 10 tens. It's going to make shifts in this energy moving forward. The karmic energy will need to clearing as well. Big element of karma with you guys. Uh, again, doesn't mean that you are specifically karmic relationships, but you guys have got karma because you do. Um, because you do. That's it, really. Um, and the truth of the situation. So they are feeling that this emotions towards you are growing, that they are strong. They are aware that they have got to do something in the not too distant future with you. Um, to check that you're still there, to check that you're still interested because they've been messing around for quite some time. And that's why the 1010 is coming in as well. So your person's going to have a bit of a vibrational shift with that. Spirit also talking about the age of Aquarius stepping in. Here we go. We're going to go a bit deep now. Um, with everything that's kind of happening with Brexit, <laughs> hey, I'm English, uh, boyfriend's Portuguese. Um, so with everything that is happening with Brexit and all things that are kind of going on around the world at the moment, not, not that I'm into politics at all. I'm a spiritual earthly girl. No, I'm not. I'm a spiritual girl. Politics don't do it for me. But what this kind of happening is the whole world is going through this bit of a universal shake up at this moment in time. And that includes stuff that's happening in England, at the European Union and everywhere else, you know. Um, there is different shakeups that are happening as, as this kind of spiritual truth is coming up to the forefront. The age of Aquarius is kind of starting. It's really getting into the forefront now. Um, so Spirit have told me to mention that to you. So just go with the flow of it. These energies are moving. They are shifting. And with the 10 tens, keep it at the back of your mind. Things are changing. Big shifts. Big, big shifts. We just got ch, -ch changes. Turn to face the strange ch, -ch changes. Bowie. Bowie. Her Herophant, Hierophant, Bowie or Bowie. <laughs> That's their thoughts. Okay, their feelings towards you. Well, 
they know we have the death card okay don't panic don't panic so what we're saying here what's going on here spirit is saying that this is the end of the situation kind of coming to a close so if you've been stuck in a cycle if you've been this is the ten tens it's coming through again uh, it's end of a cycle if you've been in no contact that's coming to a close if you've been blowing hot and cold that's coming to a close there are shifts coming all around you lot um as things are starting to change there's nowhere for them to hide anymore spirit so there's nowhere for them to hide they're coming to the forefront emotions being pushed on them they've got to make start making changes in their life and they are fully aware of that again uh, this came in deck number one the moon you've got to trust your own intuition on it trust your own instinct on it a lot of new beginnings are happening a lot of new shifts are coming again age of aquarius trust your own instinct on it your person uh, is thinking about you a lot as well with the moon being the divine feminine. Remember, we're never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel. Um, but the moon is the feminine energy between you guys. So even if you're a guy, uh, you know, you can be the feminine. It's how it works. So you're the person, your person um, is thinking about you and the majority of you watching is going to be the divine feminine, no matter what your, your gender is or your orientation. Okay, so new beginnings coming forward again um trusting your own intuition they are feeling that they're feeling uh, a very strong pull towards you at the moment and with the stars that are kind of coming up around this card as well spirit is saying uh the star card always reminds me of jesus and um, you know when uh, archangel gabriel came down and said to the kings follow the star get to baby Jesus it's about being on the right path okay so you've got the moon which is highlighting all the these fears that are coming up the moon's highlighting their vulnerability uh, realizing that they've got to start making changes in their life again with the death card over here changes have got to start happening uh, your person's having a bit of a big wobble really feeling that their life isn't how they want it to be and that they're feeling that things have got to start changing and start shifting and this is where their feelings are towards you as well they know they've got to start making changes with regard to the situation with you but they're on the right path okay again slow and steady movement in the thought processes this is where their feelings are you know they want to take it slow and then the next three cards you've got wheel of fortune empress and four of swords okay their feelings for you they know what you want they know that you are wanting to kind of give birth to new beginnings new dreams new philosophies on life philosophies on life spirit okay new philosophies on life i will throw it at you that's what spirit just said um you know it doesn't necessarily you know some of you there will be pregnancy things that you're wanting the family you're wanting the stability you're wanting the security from them and to their same extent they want it too but they need a bunch of new beginnings to happen and that is where the energy is going with four of ones they can see that um, you know, you are the one person that has made them feel the way they have. You are the one person that has shone this kind of light of the star towards them. You are the one person that has helped them through the shittiest times of their life and they've kind of been an idiot and they've pushed you away and they know that now. They know that they've got to start making changes for this to happen, uh, for things to be moving in the right direction. And again, with the moon in the middle of this card, there are new beginnings stepping in, okay? Strong new beginnings and fortune is going to turn in your favour. So their feelings towards you, yeah, they're hiding away from them at the moment. They're not, they're not really dealing with it at this moment in time, but they know that they've got to. Um, again, this is a kind of avoidance behaviour. I said in debt number one, I don't think I said it in debt number two. There's another element of avoidance behaviour here. If they don't have to think about it, if they don't think about it, they haven't got to deal with it. They haven't got to do anything about it. And with the death card coming in again, that's is signifying this avoidance behaviour, but it's also signifying that the situations, whatever you're in at this moment in time, it's going to come to the close so a new beginning can step in and again i've had a numerology of a 10 and a 10 10 10 and it is 10 10 it's not 23 20 no 20 20 wait what's number 10 on the 22 it's not 22 zero zero it's 10 no 22 10 it's not that it's 10 10 oh my god so bad at this shit 20 to 10 it's not it's a 10 and a 10 so if it's 10 10 10 at night it's you're looking for a 10 and a 10 and you're looking to see about three four five of them a day for it to move forward in the right direction some of you as well are going to resonate with the numbers of the two 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 spirit are saying when that's happening just spirit are saying that just being a consciousness that is shifting in your favor again so 10 10 is going to signify the changes um and two 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 is signifying that it's coming and the 777 they're also saying is saying that's releasing your fears okay if you want to know how the, what the numbers mean and how to go about it the best way to do it 
Um, you know, it's probably not to look on the internet and look at the generic meanings. Your best bet is to, when you are, see the number that you want to know about, write down what you're thinking, scribble it in your notes on your phone. What are you thinking at that point? So you might be thinking about your person. So you see a 222, you're thinking about them. You see a 222 again, you're thinking about them texting you. You see a 222 again and you're thinking about, are they going to come back? And that energy is going to start signifying something. So by the time you get to the fifth or the sixth time of seeing that number, you're going to work out what the universe is individually saying to you. So your best bet, wait till you see the number, write down what you're thinking. By the fifth or sixth time of you seeing that number, you will establish a pattern and you will work it out. And that's how the universe will talk to you individually rather than the whole generic looking on the internet for what the numbers mean. But Spirit are saying 10, 10 for endings and beginnings, 7, 7, 7, 7 for releasing fears and not holding on to it, and 2, 2, 2, 2 for it being in the right direction. So pay attention to the numbers. Just had a, a vision of a clairvoyant from... Um, Crap, what's that film? What is that never ending story? You're a never ending story. It's not gonna end between the two of you, so just chill with it. <laughs> Their emotions, they're just they're just hiding away, they're scared, they need to put the big boy girl pants on and, and not be a scaredy cat and, and get cracking on it. But you've gotta go at their speed. Try not to control it, because if you control it, you're gonna block it. So there you go, that's step number two. So if you need me for manifesting plans, reading, single questions, past life readings, tutoring, one space left for tutoring, if you need me, give me a holler, give me a shout. Uh, I'll put all the information in the description. I'll put email address, website, etc. in the description for you. And again, I am away from the 9th to the 16th of October. I will pre-record a public, but if you need me in that time period, just be conscious that my out of office is gonna be on and I will probably, I'll probably check my emails, but you're not gonna get responses till I get back. I'm at the Tarot Conference. Okay, guys, have a really good week. Uh, take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you all soon. Lots of love, bye.